Kia ora, kia ora, kia ora, whakalofalahiatu, and welcome back to this week's Instagram Live. This week's question is, I've been working on my body confidence, but negative thoughts about my body keep popping up. Is this normal? And I love this question because, yeah, sometimes it feels like you've been doing this thing for a while now and you're like, where's my results? Like, where's the results, sis? Um, and I want you to know that building that body confidence, like, it takes time. And think about your life, right? It's been 20, 30 years of you having this thought and you think it's going to go over away overnight it's going to take a while, honestly. And for me, like it took me more than 20 years to, um, yeah, to be done with those thoughts. And even now they pop up here and there, but now I have the tools to overcome them. And I was actually watching a TikTok that other day and it freaking broke my heart, right? Because she was saying like her Roman Empire was that she hasn't experienced a single day um, of not feeling the need to lose weight since she was about 13 years old. And I was like, like, that's so freaking sad. But what even, what's like more sad is I went into the comments and there were so many like thousands and thousands and thousands of people who could relate to this. And it went as like young as five years old where people like, yeah, ever since I was five years old, one lady was 50 and she was still having these thoughts, right? For me, it was six years old in the playground, right? So it was over 20 years of me waking up every day thinking that, you know, I have to lose weight to live my life you know having that thought in my mind all the time that I have to change my body and it's so freaking real like I just want you to know like this is so real and it's a practice it's this practice of undoing all those years right so please know it's a practice and please don't give up because it's going to be so freaking worth it when you get to a moment in your life where you do have that freedom in your mind where you don't have to worry about weight loss every single day and you've got a clear mind to live your life and not worry about what you're eating and all the things in your body and all those things right um so my first step is awareness and it sounds like you have a lot of awareness there um but i want you to acknowledge the thoughts without judgment right so sometimes when these thoughts pop up we judge them we're like oh no like i shouldn't be thinking this or i'm so fat i should lose weight all these things right but just acknowledge it and don't judge it just acknowledge the thoughts and when they, uh, when they pop up, instead of getting caught up in them, I want you to be aware that that's the thoughts that you're having, right? So that awareness for what it is. And I want you to decide whether or not you're going to listen to that thought, whether or not you're going to believe that thought. And if you are, cool, go on with your life. But if you're not, it's like literally telling the thought, like, you can't be here. You can't stay here. You can't sit with us, right? You can't be here. There's no room in my mind for you. There's no room for you here. I rebuke you. Like, you're not, you're not sitting with us. You're not allowed here. So you're literally like, no, you're not allowed here. Get out. Get lost. <laughs> you're not, you're not going to be here, right? Um, and I want you to notice the triggers of why those thoughts are coming up. What has triggered that thought in the first place? Were you scrolling social media and you saw a video about somebody set like having weight loss surgery or losing a bunch of weight? And they're like, oh, my life is so much better now, you know, and all the things. Then it makes you think, oh, I need to lose weight to love myself. Oh, I want my life to get better. So I have to lose weight to be like her because she looks so happy now. You know, has that triggered it? Was it someone at work who commented on how they've had such a bad day because they've eaten chocolate that day and that's made you think like oh no I ate chocolate today too like I'm a bad person I'm bad I need to starve myself I need to go on these diets and all these things is it your auntie that always comments on your weight whenever you see her you know what is what is the trigger and getting really really clear on that trigger because you have to remove the trigger you have to remove yourself from those spaces if it's someone who's 
always commenting on your weight your auntie having a conversation hey auntie don't comment on my weight people at work commenting on your food and what you eat hey please stop commenting on my food please stop commenting on the way i look maybe you need to have some time off social media you know so that you don't keep seeing those messages that keep telling you that you're not good enough that to be lovable you have to freaking lose weight to be worthy you have to lose weight and all the things maybe it is some time off social media maybe it is unflo unfollowing all those people unfollowing people who don't make you feel good in your life maybe it is having a conversation with your colleague at work and being like hey please don't say x y and z maybe it is not going over to your auntie's house and having some time away right you have to prime your environment you have to get rid of those triggers you have to like literally like set yourself up for success in the best freaking environment of your life um and then um also like stop watching the news <laughs> stop watching the news is one as well um so i think like and that's enough right because once you like literally prime your environment once you're away from all the messaging that tells you that your body's not good that you need to lose weight to be lovable that you can't show your body because it's not good because you're bad because you're all the things right once you do that watch your life change and keep doing that keep doing it keep practicing it you'll you'll see that your life will change right in front of you so i'm gonna leave you with that sis thank you so much for the beautiful beautiful question um it's so real please know that this is a practice there's been years like tens of years of 20 years 30 years one of my clients who i'm working with now 60 years old and she's finally making a change like freaking amazing it's never too late to make a change right but just remember there's been so much years that have gone into these thoughts and things like that so there is going to be a time where you have to start unlearning and that might feel like a little while but please know that it's so worth it um so thank you so much for being here thank you for being here adriana marine margarita v thank you for being here um and oh my gosh i also want to tell you I have some really really something really exciting coming up a new program coming up that's going to help you so much in this area if you have a question for next week please drop it below or dm me and i will answer it on next week's um live but that's all guys have an amazing weekend Ka kite, goikia.